Hi, happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's day is going great and I'm so happy with the positivity that I received from doing the video yesterday. I had just planned to do it for my class, but I'm so glad that more parents and students are watching it. Everyone's welcome to watch my videos if you want. You can subscribe so that you can know when I post the video. That would be super helpful to you. And I'm just gonna feature a book today. I'm super excited about it. It has my favorite animal and I'm gonna share with you my collection. So first of all, I have this pen. It's so cute. It has a little narwhal. I love whales, but narwhals are my favorite. And I also have this little narwhal that I painted. It has a little heart and that's my favorite color. So I'm just gonna put him here so he can sit and watch because he wants to hear the story too, just like you guys. And I have this other narwhal that changes colors and it's from one of my students. So thanks Jair, I love my narwhal, he's so colorful. I'm gonna put him right here. And my last narwhal I wanna show, he's so soft and cute. And he's the last one. So I'm gonna start the story. He's gonna watch too, can't really see him. The story is called Jess Narwhal. And he also changes colors like the one Jair gave me. I love it. I love this book. So let's start. Just Narwhal. And sorry for the reflection. Just Narwhal. By Laura Ed and Rosie Greening. Narwhal was a whale who thought she had no skills. She couldn't cook, or knit, or sing, or even catch a ball. Meanwhile, all her mermaid friends were skillful as can be. If they tried out something new, they did it perfectly. Wow, thought Narwhal every day. There's nothing they can't do, but I'm just Narwhal. And I wish that I had talent too. One morning, Star and Coral cried to Narwhal in distress. Do you guys know what distress means? It means very worried. Our art contest has started, but everything's a mess. Well, that doesn't sound too good. This says Great Reef Painting Contest. Judging today. We need a judge, said Coral, and our time is nearly up. Can you judge our paintings and decide who wins the cup? Narwhal thought, I'll get it wrong, and quickly shook her head. Then she told them, I'm just Narwhal. I'll find someone else instead. She asked Cackle, the clownfish, to decide which art should win. The prize goes to... The funniest, said Cackle with a grin. That is pretty funny. Narwhal thought, that's not enough to win the special prize, but I'm just Narwhal, so I'll check with someone big and wise. Do you guys know what wise means? Wise means someone who's lived a lot longer and they know a lot of things, like maybe your grandparents. She found a big blue whale and asked, which painting is the best? The biggest, shouted Jumbo, forget about the rest. Oh man, that's really big. I'm not sure size is everything, said Narwhal quietly, but since I'm just Narwhal, 
I'll make sure Shelly agrees. Shelly scuttled around the art, but judged them selfishly. Do you know what selfishly is? Yep, it's when you only think about yourself and you do not think about others. The shellfish said, the winner is the one that features me. Hmm. Narwhal looked around and thought, these choices don't seem fair. They can't judge on one thing alone. There's much more to compare. Narwhal swam to join her friends. I've let you down. She cried. You need a fair and honest judge who sees how hard you tried. The mermaid said, well, if that's the case, then you should judge our art. To us, you're not just Narwhal, and we'd love for you to take part. What good friends. Narwhal gave a nervous smile and said, okay, I'll try. And she wrote a list of qualities to judge the paintings by. Qualities. So what she means is she wrote a list of things that she's gonna look for when she's judging the paintings that make them good. Narwhal swam around and studied each with care. She looked at every brush stroke to make sure she was fair. Such cute glasses. At last, she said, each piece of art is special in its way, but one checked every box for me. Star wins the prize today. Star held up the shining cup for everyone to see. Then Coral rushed to Narwhal and she hugged her gratefully. She said, you are the finest judge we could have ever found. You're fair and open-minded. The most just Narwhal around. From that day on, Narwhal would judge each contest she could find. And she, and though she couldn't dance or sing at last, she didn't mind. She thought, my skills are hidden. They're not obvious to me, but just like all the paintings, there's so much more to me. And it says, Judge of the Year. And that's the end of Jess Marwell. So I think it's an important book to think about because you might think, oh, I'm, I'm not as good as my friend. They can paint and draw really well or they can do math really good but you're just as good as them. You're the best you could be and you have hidden talents that you need to find because you're amazing. You are perfect just the way you are. So that's just normal. I hope you guys have a good Wednesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow.